want to move to the developments now on Libya and the questions from the Obama administration about the, uh, the deadly claims, uh, the, the strike, though, and the claims that it came without warning. Fox News reviewing a cable which summarized an emergency meeting held last August where a senior State Department security officer raised concerns the consulate did not and could not defend against a coordinated attack. It foreshadowed the assault that came nearly a month later. The cables mentioned two terror groups with training camps in Benghazi before the murders of Ambassador Christopher Stevens and three other Americans. South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy is a member of the House Oversight Committee looking into this. And, sir, good morning to you from Spartanburg, South Carolina there. Uh, the, the mention here was that um, there was word that there was not ample warning uh, about the potential for um, the raid that eventually took the lives of four Americans. Uh, today you're saying there are two things that are beyond a reasonable doubt that are clear to you. What are they? Well, number one, that security was inadequate, and, and th this cable, if media reports are accurate as to what it contained, it's classified, so I haven't seen it. If the media reports are accurate, then that's just one more piece of evidence and what has become an overwhelming case that the administration either knew or should have known the security situation in Benghazi was untenable. That's been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. Secondly, the aftermath of these attacks. This had nothing to do with the video. It was pre-planned. It was premeditated. What we don't know, and what Senator Graham and Jason Chaffetz and others are asking is, Mr. President, you said the minute you learned of this attack, you issued three directives, including to secure our personnel. Who ignored your directive? Because this siege went on for, for about six hours. So if you issued a directive the minute you learned of this siege to protect our personnel, who ignored your directive? So you're going to the White House. Why not go well, to the State Department? Because Fox News has filed a number of questions with the Department of State, including given the warnings and the detailed intelligence laid out, whether or not the State Department considered extra measures for the consulate to give them more security. Why not go to the State Department on these questions? Well, we have, and we'll go there too, and we'll go to the Department of Defense, and we'll go to the CIA, but ultimately, the, the government speaks with one voice. Uh, this administration can't blame this component or it's like a, a man blaming his foot if he's charged with kicking somebody. The president is in charge. He's the commander in chief. He's not the meteorologist in chief. He's the commander in chief. And he said the minute I learned of this attack, which presumes to me that it was while it was ongoing because it lasted for six hours. The minute I learned of it, I issued a directive to secure our personnel. What assets did he put in the air? W what troops did he send into Benghazi to secure our personnel? What did he do? I, and, and, and Bill, I'm not going to have a chance to ask him the question, but I would hope that you and others in the media would hold him just as responsible well, we, for this. We hope to have that uh, opportunity. I, but but drill down on this, because what the administration has suggested through its public statements that the attacks came without warning. Now, do these cables directly undercut that in your view? Well, these cables, in addition to two prior attacks on the consulate, an assassination attempt on the British ambassador, two attacks on the Red Cross in Benghazi, if the administration did not know that Libya and Benghazi in particular were dangerous, they were the last people on the planet to know that. All, it, it, there are 200 episodes of violence in Libya. This cable, there was something sent in, in, in September. This allegedly was, was August. September. The situation in, in Libya continues to be violent. That was sent days before the attack. So w when you have two attacks on, on a consulate, the British ambassador, an assassination attempt, uh, plaintiff pleadings from your security officers and your ambassador that this is trending negatively and you do absolutely nothing, what else could Ambassador Stevens have done shy of taking out an ad in the Benghazi Herald saying, please send us help? What else could he have done? Trey Gowdy, thank you for your time. This will be with us after the election, regardless of who wins out of South Carolina. Thank you, sir.